Hello, and welcome back to Korra. Last time, we had just come into this temple and found another, uh, telekinesis. Not telekinesis, telepathy spot. So let's see what's happening. The Empress. So that's a bunch of, I guess, slaves carrying an Empress. That's descriptive. I'm not sure why they'd be doing that in a temple, though. Whoa. Alright, so no way back. It's probably bad. People disappearing... Well, stories of people disappearing. Ghosts disappearing. Though ghosts kind of normally disappear. So who knows, we may be doomed, we may, uh, we may be perfectly fine. That droning, uh, a little bit ominous. Serious voice. Hmm. Seems you possess the sight. For only those who can peer through the divide shall my presence be felt. And since you have ventured out from the town of men, crossed the valley and stepped into these forgotten halls, this door shall be opened. Nice. So, just because we can see you, we get a door open. That's an easy puzzle to solve. I'm hoping the rest are as easy. That is a big door. So I was wrong, the droning wasn't ominous. Hmm. Who lights the candles, I wonder? Wow, alright. Very, uh, sort of Aladdin. I'm feeling like that's the golden lamp, and if we touch it, then everything explodes or something. Achievement unlocked, RIP. strange. But we can't go up there and see what that is. I guess it looks like the bird statue that we saw earlier. That's the most similar thing I can think of, at least. Cracks in the wall. That looks kind of like a tree, actually. Uh, the birds came out of it, so I'm guessing it's Kind of like a tree, actually. Or... totally not. Well, we can pray more. That's nice. Sorry about that uh, noise, if I can't get that out. Someone was texting me. It's very quiet now, all of a sudden. Music has stopped. Oh ho! Right as I said that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just being blown away? That's fantastic. So, can we not go back? Yeah, no, we can't go back. Alright, so that's two reasons we can't turn around. Uh, I guess that's good enough for me. Where are we going? So we, I mean, we passed the temple. Now I've got to cut through more rocks. We've passed the temple and now I guess I'm lost. Alright, I'm not sure which rocks I have to cut through. Oh, that's a statue on its side. I thought this was just a sort of cliff face. But no, there's like one of those smiling praying guys. I don't know what to call them. They remind me of Buddhist statues. But I don't think that's what they are. Hello, traveler again. I don't know what everyone's been harping about. I mean, the place was old for sure, but I didn't see any ghosts. And look, half of the temple is gone, crumbled away. I almost got whacked with a piece of ceiling too. It fell right past my head. I guess it's kind of pretty up here, though. Oh, I guess it's kind of pretty up here, though. That's what he said. By the way, I saw some ancient writing on the walls that talked about some kind of pit. 
said something about human sacrifices too. Ain't really my scene, but I'm gonna go check it out. Apparently, I am too. This is a good place for a uh, stage, I guess. But look kind of like the Great Wall of China on there. I have no idea what's going on at this point, to be totally honest. I'm just like walking around looking at stuff. Which is nice, it's just a relaxing experience. But not exactly uh, clear on the story yet. And I can pray again with my incense, my apparently unlimited incense. Actually, wait a minute. It's just like Game Makers to put a secret right here. Apparently not. I was totally wrong. Look at that. It happens. Kind of neat that you can still go behind it. Maybe there is a secret and I'm just not good enough to find it. I think I'm having an easier time than them getting up this cliff. Probably. Okay. A bridge. That looks kind of like the future, to be honest. Unless everything's crumbled away a lot more than it looks like. I guess if this is like distant future, anything made now would be for all time, right? God, that noise gets me. Ellipsis. Executioner. All ready, your highness? Proceed. And just shit, kick him off. All right. Whoa. Okay. That's a pleasant noise. For a game like this, I feel like ambient noise is incredibly important. And I think Curve did really well here because the uh, like the wind noise that didn't really sound like wind actually go back and listen if you want to it whoops it didn't sound like wind it uh, it was like sort of warbling noises but it sounded like spooky ooh that's pleasant it, it set the tone well I guess is what I'm saying and this is doing it too Sort of minimal music. God, don't know why I hit space. That's just, uh. And there's a skeleton. I guess only one guy came down here, and this is gonna be him landing. Oh, is that him? Interesting. I guess that's a little bit of story. I can't tell you what bit it is, but it is a little bit. Praying causes earthquakes. Whoa, shit, alright. Uh, no more joking. Uh, no more praying, I guess, cause holy shit, that'll kill me next time. Let's see what's off to the right. Uh, more doors. With their deep droning noise again. Mysterious voice. Hmm. It seems you possess the sight. Only those who peer through divides, so my present uh, same speech. 
since you have oh, and since you have seen the grounds in which a mighty sanctuary once stood, delve deep into the darkness of the underground, this door shall be opened. Yeah, I didn't really feel like carrying on this foot that voice. It was kind of a hassle. Uh, once again, that's a huge fucking door. Can't quite tell where it's disappearing into on the left, though. And bats. Let's see what's in through door number two. Jump the gaps. I don't know why that ghost is running away from us. I don't feel scary. I feel like sort of a cluster of dots. The fuck? That is a wizard levitating cows, right? Yes it is. <laughs> um... <laughs> I guess this is an area steeped in history, huh? Uh, something weird's gonna happen if you give it long enough. Pleasant. Bats kind of freak me out, to be honest. They're cool, I think, like, they're really neat, but to actually, like, run into one in a cave would... God, uh, no. Best not to think about that, I guess. How does he get in front of me? I don't know about you, but I thought the whole climb down here was kind of spooky. You couldn't see the guy falling, so I think I win there. With the skeletons and bats and all, I just about turned around and went back up to the surface. But after wandering these caves for a bit, I actually felt a sense of peace washing over me. The air is nice and cool down here, maybe because of the huge underground lake up ahead. The, excuse me. The sounds of the bats are kind of soothing after you get used to them, too. It almost sounds like they're sim singing sometimes. Yep, this would be a real nice place to just spend some alone time. Pure solitude. I'm a little hesitant to swim across the lake, though. Who knows what ugly things are lurking in those waters. Well, that's a little bit offensive. Goodness. Who knows what they think about what you look like. And wow, giant crystals. There goes the Empress their little marshmallow men sailors. Let's see. And now I'm just one pixel as a head with a reflection. Yeah, I'd be pretty hesitant to swim across this lake too, actually. But those are some fancy crystals. Hello, bats. I guess I could hear that as singing. Especially if I was around it for a while. That is an actual thing, not a vision. Let's get out of the water. Are those, like, narwhals? They might be narwhals. again. We must have a lot of incense. Because we've left, like, five sticks already, I think. Which is certainly more than I carry around on my person on a regular basis. I don't know about you guys. Ooh, deep dark cave. What a pleasingly cliffhangerly like place to leave off an episode. Cause it is almost exact ooh. It is almost exactly fifteen minutes, so I think we'll see what this telepathy sequence is. Servant, how are we gonna get this boat past that wall, your highness? 
Or not, you fool. We'll have to swim. Maybe we can find another route? We aren't going anywhere but underneath this wall. The door is just on the other side. I can feel it. Grab the supplies and pack them up. We'll be traveling on foot from here on out. So I think she's going after whatever we're sort of wandering towards. Because I don't have a goal in mind, certainly. And I guess we'll see if that other door is actually behind this wall in the next episode of Korra.